Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl. Hope you guys are doing good. So today I will walk you through one of the applications from ITSM suit called Incident Management. So today I will explain you uh, how this application works, what are the basic functionalities of this application and how we can directly you know start using BMC out of the box application. So we know uh, that we can customize it, we can change the look and feel of this application but there is some uh, out of the box or a basic application which has been provided by BMC and it's a ready to use application you can directly go and use it or you can deploy it for the end customers and who can also start using it. So let's go through it. So first of all I will log in into the system and now uh, once I log into the system I need to have permissions of uh, incident uh, management application so these permissions can be incident user incident you know master and there are you know different um, you know uh, you know mechanisms or different ways we can access this application and also these different permissions which we have like incident master incident user they have a diff different significance we will take it in some other video so today our main focus is on the incident management application so now how I landed on this console so when you log in normally you go to the home page so what you can do from your home page go to the application navigator then from there you can go here in incident management and then the incident management console once you click on this you will uh, land here so now what exactly is this so you can see here there is a table where you can see the incidents are being displayed then there is there are some panels on the left there is a you know some fields on the top so I'll explain you each and everything what exactly this is. Now let's start with this panel. So this panel which, uh, which you can see here is basically to search this table which is there in the uh, bottom of the bottom of these fields. So this table is basically the tickets which have been created in the system. So all the tickets which have been created or all the incidents which have been raised in the system they will be visible here based on this search criteria. Ideally when you log into the system so you can set your criteria so it will show you the tickets which are assigned to you so your console can be different from mine console depending upon the support groups you belong to the permissions you have you can see the ticket so currently you can see here the uh, the tickets which are being displayed is the ones which are being which are assigned to me so it is showing assigned to me so now if i click in this uh, you know show button or show drop down field you will see these are the options i have so I can see all uh, tickets assigned to my group, all to my selected groups. So if I click assign to my group, it will display all the tickets which are assigned to all the groups which I am member of. So for example, I am member of three groups. So it will display all the tickets which are assigned to those, those three groups in, the, in here in the system. Now there will be some tickets which will be assigned to me. So that I can directly go here and I can select assign to me here. So what is the difference now assigned to a group and assigned to me? So there is a difference. <coughs> so assigned to group means it is uh, it is part of my group ticket. The support group for that ticket is uh, the groups which I am member of. And assigned to me means where I am the assignee. So you can see here there is a assignee field and you can see the field, the user which I have logged in with. It is showing me the, the uh, assignee. So this way it will display the results here. Now there is another way of filtering the records here that is filter by option you can click here. So uh, these are called basically saved searches so you can also define your own search in this. So you can define more filters by default there are certain you know uh, basically um, uh, filters or searches which have been given to the end user. So if, for example I can see all open all priorities critical priority let's suppose I select this critical priority. So what it will do, it will just filter this result here based on the uh, criticality. So it will only show me the critical tickets. So you can see here the priority is only criti criti uh, sorry, critical. So similarly, you can also define your own um, search criteria. For example, I click here. So it will open up a pop-up. Then uh, you can see here, you, you can see here, this is, you know, uh, my defined searches so currently there has been two searches which have been defined so you can see uh, this is the qualification which we built here 
so for example this one this reported source is this bmt bmc impact manager and status is assigned and status is in progress <coughs> similarly there are there is another search which has been uh, developed here or which has been uh, built here so and i can use it so i can also create my own new search i can give it a uh, you know uh, let's suppose i want to only see tickets which are open and let me give this open and critical then here i need to provide the search criteria so i can build the search qualification here click on this search qualification it will take you to the this uh, field so here i can build let's suppose i'll search for the field status okay i'll say status is less than or equal to resolved and priority is critical okay and i'll select so you need to know these values before you basically build this search so i'll say open and critical let me give it more okay okay now this search has been saved for me so let me close this now so if i go here if you see my search i am getting this open and critical now what it will do it will search the system and it will bring only the tickets which are critical and which are open you can see it has filtered the result so currently these are the only tickets which are open and critical and you can see also the status is assigned and it is showing me here in the uh, in this particular table so similarly you can also define your own search and then define your own filters and you will get the results here so this is basically uh, helpful for the support staff who are creating tickets who are working on the tickets this is for them a console where they can you know manage all the tickets they can uh, see the tickets assigned to them then they can also work on the tickets which are being uh, you know uh, given to them and then based on the criticality of the tickets they can work so if you go down here in this section detail and task it shows the details of the ticket so if i click on this ticket you can see here it will show me the remaining information let's suppose assigned group reported date customer and then it will show me also here the other information now uh, let me go back to the this part so here you can again this is a search criteria it shows you all uh, you know it's an easy to use links so if i click here on open it will show me it will refine this table and will show me all the open cases where uh, also if i can see unassigned that means this has not been assigned to any individual it will also showcase me currently there is nothing so it's showing this as blank acknowledge means that nobody has acknowledged the case so you can also see it so breached also it will show me the tickets which have been bre which have uh, breached the sla's so these sla part will take it later but you here you can see the target date slm status the target is breached so it is showing me here in this console so it is the basically a count which will um, help you in understanding the overall scenario of the tickets now there are links here also you can see new incident search incident so they are very you know self explanatory you can see here uh, you can create a new incident search incident then advanced search you can also perform an advanced search my profile i can go to my profile change my uh, profile conditions we'll see it uh, with some other videos now uh, what i want to show is a new or uh, creating a new ticket okay so if i need to create a new incident there are two options i can either go here or i can click on this you know button here so let me go here now when the moment you click on this new incident it will open up a new page the first thing you will get here is this incident number so this is a unique id for this incident and you can see here it is automatically generated so we do not generate any incident ids it is automatically generated the second important thing is this progress bar at the top so you can see here this progress bar 
currently you can see the identification recording is green the remaining are you know in blue uh, color so this this changes when the ticket moves from one state to another state so the moment ticket will move from identification and recording to investigation and diagnosis it will this bar will move to the, this stage so this helps us in you know uh, getting the graphical view of the ticket where exactly the ticket is now to create a ticket i have to first of all select the company so my company is calibro services then customer for whom i am creating the ticket so i can use any user so let me search so the moment you type anything here it will go and check the system let me type my user so you can see here i am getting a user there is an allen in three companies i am getting it 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 like this so then i am selecting one of the user now summary of the ticket this is a test ticket for me Let's see i can provide some summary then impact i need to select impact then let me select some impact now you can see here the priority is calculated based on this impact and urgency so there is a configuration for it so based on this it will create uh, create the priority then uh, incident type so i need to select what type of incident this is this is a user service restoration user service request or it is related to infrastructure so there can be two cases where either user needs something from the system or he needs a, a new uh, item we'll call it as a normal service request or it's a restoration of a service for example the uh, email is not working my laptop is not working or my network connection is not working or there can be some other thing as a service restoration similarly a service request can be a request for a new dongle a new laptop uh, or um, upgradation of a um, ram or something else okay now i'll say service restoration for example my let me change the summary email is not working okay then assign group now by default i can directly assign this to some uh, group but there is there is a <coughs> you know there is a um, automated assignments also that also we will see in some other uh, videos like how the automated assignment works so you can say now i am selecting the group help desk and support and i will save it okay now i am getting some warning so login id is missing for the registered user an incident will be created but the request will not be created because login id is required okay so the user i have selected this user does not have a login id so he cannot log into the system so that's the reason it has not created any uh, request but the incident is created for the user so let's proceed with it now you can see the bar has changed now to the investigation and diagnostics that means now the ticket has been created it is in the investigation stage now so now this user either this the support staff he can uh, let me go or let me go back to the incident console okay now let me see a ticket which we have just created okay let me see if i am able to assign to all my groups if i am part of help desk and support i'll be able to see that ticket okay uh, i think i am not part of that group okay let me tap this okay so that ticket which i have created i cannot okay i cannot uh, because i am not part of the group i am not able to see it okay let me see if i am able to search it so using this uh, navigator i can navigate on the table also let's suppose i take this ticket let me take this one <coughs> so email not working so there is a ticket already created for email services down so you can see here there is this is a complete ticket vpn email issues with the laptop macbook air so this is a complete description of the ticket given here <coughs> now after investigation and diagnostics it goes resolution and recovery that means the team is already the ticket is already assigned to a particular individual from a group so from help desk and support it moved to service desk and then this guy 
uh, is the now assignee of the ticket and the status of the ticket is in progress. So now the team who is working on the ticket, how they work on the ticket, basically they do either updates on these work details, they can add like he checked something on there, check the, so this is email, uh, let's suppose email server, so we can say check the email account. So he did some, let's suppose uh, some diagnostics on the ticket and then he can, you know, record his uh, diagnostics here in the uh, work log. So the moment I add it, it will be added here. Okay. So this is for the next team. I am adding basically a work log or the timelines to other for the other team to check what has been done already on the ticket. Then uh, we can see the categorization here. The categorization is basically how the kit, uh, ticket can be categorized. Basic, uh, basically, we have here this three tier architecture from BMC. So you can see here different types of, so currently this is categorized as failure of functionality. Then um, it can be also categorized as a product. Now we can do the product categorization that what sort of product this is. So, uh, but we'll not go in detail in this. Currently we are looking into the incident part only. Then we have, uh, we can also add tasks in the incident related tasks. If let's suppose for email server, let's suppose the email server is down and I need, I need the server team to check the network. I need uh, email team to check the exchange and I need some other, you know, email uh, service company to check the service of that particular email. So then I can create different tasks, assign it to the different teams and then they can work on those tasks and provide me the updates. Then uh, relationships we'll see in some other videos. It's like I can relate different type of, you know, problems, changes, incidents in this particular case. Then date and system will tell me the dates, when it was reported, who has submitted it, what are the, these are all system dates. Okay. Then there will be one owner also. Owner group basically owns the incident. So assignee group is a group who works on the incident and owner group is the group who basically owns that incident. For example, when ticket is created, it will be assigned to a service desk first. So service desk as per the ITL cons um, uh, you know, concepts will be the first line of support. So they will first of all check the ticket. Then based on the type of the ticket, it will be assigned to different teams. So for this, for example, in this case, email service is down, it will be assigned to the email exchange team or network team, but the owner will not change. The assignee here will change. So for example, if I need to assign this ticket to some other team, I can go here from this system. I can assign it to IT support, to back office, asset management or any other team, but my owner will not change because owner is the, uh, you know, group or the team who owns that incident. So they should be aware of this incident okay then uh, once it is let's suppose now i found a resolution on this i can click on the next stage button this is this is easy to do it will pop up me an information which i need to fill so i can fill it here so it's already let's suppose status reason i have found a solution so i'll say no further action required so for example we have fixed the issue there was uh, error with the exchange we can also mention it here so then uh, you can see the incident goes to the incident closure stage that means it is already resolved now we don't have to do anything in the incident because it is already resolved so there are more uh, you know uh, actions here which we can explore and we'll take it in in a separate video but this is how uh, an incident works or this is basically a life cycle of an incident now uh, we can also customize it. We can also customize this uh, look and feel here. We can add more fields. We can uh, hide some fields based on conditions, based on the requirements, based on customers expectation. We can do that. That I'll also explain you in future videos, how we can, you know, customize this incident management and how we can um, add more functionalities to it. So this is just a, you know, plain vanilla flavor of incident management which can be enhanced, which can be customized, which can be changed based on the requirement of the customer. So we, we change everything um, like on, the, on this form, we can change each and everything, fields, color, you know, the presence of the fields, the time when the fields will be enabled, disabled, that everything can be changed. So, but basic uh, incident management concept is this, what it is a complete 
life cycle of an incident right from you know recording it to closing it okay so this is it uh, from my side thank you thanks for watching my videos thank you